What's going on guys? I'm Morgan Daniel and today we are going to be taking a look at a keyboard and some other keycaps and other stuff to mod it. Um, a bit different camera setup so we got the overhead here you can see me unboxing stuff and we have this one so you can see my beautiful face. <laughs> but uh let's get into this. Alright so first off we are going to start off with the keyboard so I'm gonna move all that aside. This one is by RK Royal. It is a wireless keyboard, and I got it in the lighter colorway. It has a Gateron yellow, come on, yellow switches already in it, but uh, let's take a look. Oh, oh I'm so excited. <laughs> Even though I've only been waiting like a day for this. Oh. Okay, I'm not the best at unboxings. Oh, there it is. Oh, <laughs> oh, so excited. So, here we have our two USB A and then a USB C. I'm pretty sure the USB C is to get this thing power because it also has RGB. It looks like uh, we got our keycaps built in with the functions. I got it in the lighter colorway as you can see. They have a darker one so it's a bit darker gray. But all I want to do is click it now. Jeez. This is a six no, it's sixty-eight, seventy? I'll put it on screen. Um so we have our arrow keys and then we also have those keys. <laughs> And coming to the back, we got our little thing that we plug into the PC because it is a 2.4 gigahertz connection, which is better than Bluetooth. In my opinion, it works better, so we got that. And it uh it magnetically pops in, it appears. Oh, we have our on off switch, and then we have our B and G switch. Okay, not sure what that means. But let's put this aside, right there. In the box it seems we also have some extra... Oh, I lied, these are Gateron brown switches. I forgot they are brown, not yellow. I was gonna get yellow, but instead I got some brown. So we have some spare switches here, so... Uh, that's what they sound like. And then when they're in the keyboard, they sound like this. But, uh, so we got those, and then we have our switch puller, so we can remove them. We won't be needing this right now, but it's there. So, uh, oh, we also, it's full of surprises, we have our keycap puller, so we can lift keycaps out. I'm not gonna do that yet. But we will be doing that soon, so I'm just going to kind of put all of this back there. Maybe. Come on. This is going to be a pretty raw unboxing, so... Yeah, I'm here along for the ride. Alright, so, so far we have our keyboard. And also, this thing's got some weight to it. That, it feels nice, though, like... Oh, it's just... Oh, I want to do is click it. <laughs> uh, here we have some HK Gaming Double Shot Pudding PBT keycaps. Definitely not reading everything it says on the box. We have these in the... Oh, it said somewhere on here. It's a cyan colorway. Or, it, or blue. Whatever. I can already hear them. <laughs> So, uh, ooh, this looks good. So we have our keycaps here. I'm going to open them. Not even sure if you guys can hear me because these are very loud, or the bag is. But, um, let me grab one. We have the P cap here. Looks nice and good. Will it focus? 
No, okay, it won't, but this one will. I'm using my phone for the second camera, by the way. But we have our P, and that is clear, so it will light up RGB. And then we have our kind of clear side, so a lot of RGB here. I love RGB, can't go wrong with it, so we, uh, we got that going for us. We can take a look at the backspace bar, all pretty similar. So we will get into those in a bit. But, uh, so that's a pretty basic mod, you know. Everyone's done that before. Not everyone, but pretty self-explanatory what that one is. You put the keycaps on. But this, now this is something different. So these will go on, I'm going to grab a keycap to demonstrate. Not that one. These will go around that center post right there. And they will just kind of dampen it, so when you push the keycap down, it's nice and dampened. So, we have these. I'm not going to open those. That looks like a mess. I'm going to install those off camera. But then we have this. A lot of you are like, what's in that mysterious white bag? Well, you're about to see. It is some... Maybe. Okay. It is some one millimeter thick EVA foam. I saw some people doing two millimeter. And then I read something that said, don't do more than two. So I just played it safe and uh, with this. So we have white to kind of match the case, even though you won't see it. I am struggling to open this. Seems to be saran wrap. Not sure. Yeah, that's what it feels like. So uh, all this stuff, by the way, guys, will be linked in the description below. So if you want to, uh, if you want to build this your own, it will uh, go down that description, click those Amazon links, and buy it. So uh, here we have foam, pretty self-explanatory, nice thin. It's EVA foam. That is pretty basic. But uh, here we have all of our, uh, all of our stuff. And now I am going to cut the camera, cut, cut, snip, cut the cameras, and uh, mod this thing up, and then, uh, the ba, the ba, the ba. We will do a sound test before and after at the end of this video, so please don't skip, stick around, but it will be there, so. Yeah, I'm gonna mod this thing. It'll probably take a while. I also forgot, but, um, there's a cable. Yeah, it's, uh... USB A to let me pry it out, kind of. USB C. It's out of focus, but it's here. It's white, nice quality. Yeah. It probably hasn't been that long for you, but it's been three hours for me. <laughs> but I'm finally done with the keyboard. I know crappy lighting. Yeah, my fan's still moving. <laughs> I just, I am so excited that this is done. Now there are some flaws which I will point out in a bit. When I say some, I mean really one, I guess. But uh, I'm gonna figure that out down the road. Probably get some accent keycaps to blend the issue. <laughs> but uh, here it is. So I will uh, switch to this angle. So as you can probably tell, um, these are different colored keycaps. Now these ones, the reason that they didn't work was because the ones I ordered of this color were a bit wider. They were like this wide one keycap. They just, they wouldn't fit, so I had to use the stock keycaps. But eventually, I will get some accent colors and cover like that kind of part. So that would be cyan, and then that would be the accent colors where my hands aren't. But I am overall really happy with how this turned out so for the mods i did i took it apart so i took all the keycaps apart and then i took the board off out of focus <laughs> and then i put a one millimeter layer of foam put it all back together and then i also changed the keycaps and on each keycap let's see if i can pull one off come on uh, each keycap, there is a little red, oh, 
there is a little red ring and that is just a little bit of a dampener as you can see brown switches we can put that back on but uh yeah i'm really happy with how the space bar turned out it sounds really good but now for the one thing you've all been waiting for the comparison sound test so just close your eyes and enjoy the before and the after well i guess open them because you have to see which one's before and after but yeah But that is how they sound, so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but the thing, the thing you've all been waiting for, I have not yet paired this and nor charged it. So I have the cable it came with. Let's plug it in and see what it looks like with the RGB. Boy, oh boy, is it beautiful. I know the key's flashing. I think that's some pairing thing. But I'm going to pair this to my computer now, edit this video, and enjoy this amazing cube. I really need to figure these out. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all that stuff. It helps me out. This is my dream coming true right here. This keyboard. So, uh, and I'm sharing it with you guys. So, yeah. Have a good rest of your day.